Well guys, we have got a nice Primark try on haul for you today. So I've got a few bits and pieces, but not a lot. Um, got a couple of tops and a couple of t-shirts and a long dress. So grab a scissors drink and we'll crack on with this try on. Guys, I've got an array of t-shirts, loads of different colours, loads of different styles, um, your baggy ones, your fitted ones, nice and long as well. Cute little crop tops, look at them. Not for me, but for the young girls. And these vests as well, I love these. They're really good value for money. Five pounds. Lovely colours. I've got loads of these. They wash up nice and they're really versatile. Go loads of different different um, styles, trousers, shorts, skirts. Love the hats, they're a fiver. Of course, I like to pick one up, as you do. Gorgeous colours guys, beautiful, love this green, it's a dress, it's like a boob tube dress, not for me, but lovely peachy colour suits there with the shorts and the blazers to match, this is a nice, this is a nice dress as well, it's kind of a wrap over, that ties around there and they are 22 quid and it's quite a nice length as well. Bobby Dazzler jacket, look at that. Nice for a wedding. Very pretty. I like the waistcoat as well, it's only £12 in the white. Nice. And then you've got the blazer to match. How much are the blazers? It's only single presses, £22. Very nice. And then you've got the dress here, £25. That's nice. It's got like the sequins on it. And the blazer, now that's a nice blazer. It's a nice cut as well. Look at the sleeve. Let me bring that down so you can see the sleeve. Detail on it's nice. It's a medium. Touch is that. 20 quid for the blazer. I like that. It's a nice colour. Very nice colour. Lots of shirts, um, loads of different patterns, colours, very versatile. Pair them up with jeans, nice trousers. Got like nice material, that's a nice material. It's like, um, I don't know what you call it, it's like shiny, but it's like a crinkly kind of look with a detail with a gold button on there. They're nice. 
What were the prices with those? £12 they are. Yeah, they're nice. That colour's nice as well. The creamy colour one, they're nice. These are nice dresses if you were nice and slim. They're like knitted. Very nice, got a nice little top and a little tiny. Oh, I like that colour at the back. Look at that colour, that's really nice. And it's nice and long, which is just what I like, nice length on that. They're nice as well, 17 pound they are. Yeah, like that, nice. We've got some nice straw bags there as well. These are cute bags, £12. It's a jump, I would get a bit too hot now. them on I'm going to quickly show you what I've got here I'm also sporting a Primark white t-shirt three quid um, and all I've done here is just tucked it in here in my little what they called belt strap thing in me bobs tucked it in there to give it a little ruche effect um, easy peasy to do I'll show you that in a second and then obviously my Primark jacket and you know what I've walked around I've had it on now um, a couple of times going out and, and a couple of ladies have stopped me and asked where I've got it from. How funny is that? Anyway, let's just get on. So, if you haven't watched the Primark video where I, I when I originally bought the jacket, it was it $39.99 or $36.99? I'll pop that up in the cards for you as well um, so that you can take a look at that later on at your leisure. Right, let's get on. So, T-shirts. T-shirts in Primark okay they may not last you a year on year but they are fairly good quality and they're reasonably cheap um she says hang on let's find the label in here free oh this oh three pound as well so your plain t-shirt is three quid or was this two pound fifty it was either two fifty or three quid and then with a little motif on the front which i thought was really cute for three quid as well, which is this gallery on the bottom, with a bit of writing saying, courtesy National Gallery of Art, Washington. In a size small, actually, because some of these t-shirts I find, I'm a medium, so I'm like 12, like the 12 bracket, size 12-ish. Um, and sometimes I can get away with just wearing a medium. So this one I've got in is a medium, but this one is a small. When I put the small and the medium up together, they looked exactly the same size, so. Just plain white t-shirt, goes with jeans, shorts, skirts, you name it, goes with anything because it's such a neutral top and it's lovely quality and it's your crew neck. Okay, moving on to this little top. They had trousers to go with this um, and you're, you would have seen it in the footage. I absolutely loved it as a suit. They didn't have the trousers in my size so I just plumped to get the top. Great little top. It's kind of like a linen material. These were 12 quid. It's got your kind of tie up around the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. When I put it on, you'll see. And then you tie it up at the back and you can tie it into a bow or however you want to tie it. The sleeves are cuffed. You can see the little tiny button there. And again, brilliant with jeans, with linen trousers, white linen trousers. Tra trousers. Uh, white linen trousers, cream trousers, beige, mushroom, um, grey, black, you know, very, very versatile top. Not too long, so we will sit on top of your, kind of your waistband there. Great little top for 12 quid. I got it in a size 14. Now, when I looked at the sizing, it looks like they're coming up very small. Um, I picked, they had a size 20, what I picked up and I thought, no way is that size 20. 
it wasn't much bigger than that. So if you're looking at these tops, guys, just have a look at the sizing. Put it up to seven. If you can try it on in store, do try it on because the sizes we just did not replicate the actual size of the top. So just bear that in mind. These are great. These little tops, and I've said this many, many, many times, they go with everything. They're super stretchy. They're like a ribbed material. I, I love them. I think they're great. The only thing with this one I'm concerned about is it is quite short. So when I try it on, I'm going to see how short it actually comes up, you know. But again, great with jeans. Would I wear them with leggings? No, I wouldn't. Definitely shorts, skirts, short skirts, denim shorts, denim, you know, jeans. Um, very versatile. White linen trousers as well would look nice with it. And they are six quid. Now look at the sizing on this. Large. That is not a large. I'm sorry, Primark, but you need to get your sizing right because this is not large. This is a 10 to a 12, I think. Um, so again, ladies it, or gents, if you're looking at sizing and you know, you've got, a, you're thinking of a large there. Well, it's not a large. So look at your sizing, put them up to yourself, measure it. I mean, I literally just stand there. I don't even bother trying going in, in this change rooms anymore because they're just too packed. Um, put it up to yourself, pull it across your bust, you know, around your waist there and to see whether you think it's going to, it's going to fit you. So do check the sizes. Another great little top. Again, rib material, like, but it's still nice, still your t-shirt material, but it's like the ribbed. So it's a bit stretchy. And this one is in black and it's just got a little detail in around there. I actually would have liked it in navy. It would have gone, especially with this jacket being navy, but look, still goes with it, but navy would have been nice to have had. These were, hang on, eight pound and this is a medium. So when you put this up to that one, the sizing is no different. I measured it, it's a bit awkward to do on the hanger, but I measured it from armpit to armpit and it's both exactly the same size. Very similar material. The only thing with this one I, I found was slightly bigger across the bottom. So I'm quite happy with that. You can see it's just slightly bigger about the bottom there. This is a medium again. This was six pounds. Um, they had, I believe in black with a cream stripe, but I'm, I'm always going for these kind of colors. And you know what? I would actually pair this up with this jacket because, because you've got the lines on the check here, you can get away with it with the t-shirt there because it's because it's not too busy and then the final thing was these great linen dresses look at the pattern on that absolutely gorgeous beautiful colors this can go right the way through the summer to your autumn you can wear it now for spring um because look <laughs> i've got caught on my button <laughs> honestly um yeah brilliant dress it's the only thing i found with this was when i put it up against myself it wasn't floor length i like my dresses floor length and this wasn't so it'd be interesting to see when i actually put it on how long at the bottom i've got now guys before i try those little bits on there for you i'm just going to show you my little trick i do sometimes with my t-shirt you know i like little tips and tricks so i don't like wearing my t-shirts like this I, I like them tucked in a little bit. Um, I just feel a bit more comfortable. Um, but sometimes, you know, like you tuck the whole thing in your jeans and it just doesn't look right. So if you're one of these people who are not kind of into, let me pull my jerseys up, that look, you, you get where I'm going with this, you know, just like straight, nothing there. Um, I find, I, I think it just kind of emphasizes this area a little bit. So if you're not one of them people who likes to do that, but you still want to give yourself a little bit of ruching up the top here, get your t-shirt, because this is quite long, right? And you know these little bits here, your little, your, your little belt tags? Get your t-shirt, kind of roughly where it is there, right? Gather it in like this. Now you could do two things here. You could put elastic band around it, like that and tuck it under okay 
or if you ain't got elastic band or a hair band to, to hand, make a little gather like this, poke it through this bit. So you're poking it through there like that. Fold it back over on itself and tuck it in your jean there. Pull your top down just a little bit, just a little bit. And now you've got a little gather there. Ta-da! Just a little trick. Now the first time I'm showing you is this little t-shirt. Now I've not tried these bits on. This for me is not quite long enough. Um, I'm quite long in the body. So if you're a shorter person, then this might be all right for you. Um, for me, this is not, I, I can see my belly under there and, and I'm not comfortable doing that. So, and not only that, bra straps as well. I don't do bra straps. If I can't hide them, then you need to wear a strapless bra, right? So you can, yes, you can push it back really tight and you can buy, um, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're like, uh, not like a bra extender, but if I, if I, I'll, I'll pop a picture up so you know what I'm talking about, but it's like a bit of elastic and it clips on your bra and it pulls your bra straps in at the back so you don't see them. I really don't like the look where you've got, you've got a top like this on and, and you can see your bra straps like that. This, that look, I'm just not keen on. That's my personal opinion. Um, so I do like to hide them. So I would probably either get one of them clips to pull the bra straps in or wear a strapless bra. But for me, this is, this is too short, unfortunately. But I, I do like it. It's a really nice material. If I get closer, it's such a nice material. It's got a nice shape to it as well but it's just a little bit too short for me. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Now, this is the other one, kind of that sort of colour tone as well, but this is much better for me. You, I can pull it down. I can tuck it in down the side here as well if I want to, just to give a little bit of a ruching going on around there. Love them with jeans. These are brilliant. Um, let me see, can we see bra straps? Might have to pull bra straps in just a tiny little bit. Let me come in a bit like this. Just a little bit. But it's actually not too bad. The only thing as well I've noticed on me is here. Again, because I haven't got a big bust, I can see it's kind of, it's gaping a little bit there. But apart from that, it's not a bad top. But I can, and you can probably see it as well, it's really gaping here. And I'm really no good at sewing and stuff like that. So not sure whether I'm going to keep this one. But these types of tops as well, you can dress them up and you can dress them down. Um, I'm not going to be doing a kind of dressy transition um, try on today. I'm literally just going to, you know, show you the tops with the jeans on, basically. But not bad. Not bad for the price. And then going on to this one, I like this one. I really do like it. Again, jeans, you could dress this up, put a nice pair of trousers on the bottom, you know, like your three quarter length trousers or, or linen trousers. This is really nice. Nice under a blazer as well. Um, yeah, you can really mix and match with these little tops, really great. I probably would wear a strapless bra, only for the fact I can just see my bra poking through there. But apart from that, absolutely fine. All day long for these little tops. Now this is the other top I was saying earlier with the, where you tie it up at the back here. Now, I have a little issue with this. Love the top. It's nice and long. I like the linen material. Will look really nice with white linen trousers actually. However, this is very short. So this here is going to show my midriff and I'm not comfortable with that. If I go like that, <laughs> you can see my belly hanging out. But I, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm in a bikini on the beach, fine. But walking around like this with this bit showing, no, it's not happening. So unfortunately, this is going to go back. And then the last of the t-shirts is just this little one with a motif on the front there. Absolutely fine. Brilliant with jeans, shorts, you know, denim skirt will absolutely great. 
and it's a comfortable wearing top as well. Like the actual material is really soft. It's very comfortable. I just love these, so versatile. And again, to show you that little trick, again, there's loads of tricks out there, guys, as well. So if you go on like TikTok and Instagram and that, you'll see how a lot of people style the bottom of their tops. But just to show you as a quickie, pull it forward, get your little bit like this, poke it through at the top of your jean there, your belt hook, or toggle, whatever you want to call it. Pull your trousers up and you've got a little ruch bit there. Great t-shirts for free quid, you can't go wrong with these. I will say though, if you have got a pattern, like where I've got the writing down there, if you pull that across, it is gonna skew with it a little bit. But if it's not too bad, if the pattern's not too um, heavy, then you should be all right. And then just to show you the dress, guys, you can see here, I've just put flip-flops on, but you can see the length on me, and I'm about five foot five, so just so that you can see the length, I personally like them to come right the way down to the floor. Um, unfortunately, it's not. My other issue with this dress is it's quite big round here for me. So unfortunately, this is gonna have to go back. However, it is a lovely dress. I love the pattern on it. Um, and it will look, look really nice if you were gonna style it up a notch, like put a blazer on, some nice high wedges in a lovely bag. It will look great. If you cut the straps or did a tack or, or, you know, you sewing people out there will know what to do. You can actually hoist it up and it will be better. But for me, it will hoist it up so much it'll make the dress even shorter. So unfortunately, on, th on that note, guys, I'm out. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this little video of my little mini try on haul there in the clothing section from Primark. I'll see you all soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodle pips.